हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर रशेश पटेल एंड इंटरवेंशनल रेडियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम टीम आई आर क्लिनिक टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पी ए डी वॉट इज पी ए डी पी ए डी इज अ पेरिफरल आर्टिकल डिजीज इट मीन्स इन दिस कंडीशन द ब्लड फ्लो टू द लिम्स ऑफ द बॉडी इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज सो पेशेंट गेट स्टार्टेड फीलिंग पेन आफ्टर वॉकिंग फॉर सम डिस्टेंस इट्स कॉल क्लॉडिकेशन then even more compromise of blood occur so patient may feel pain even in the rest situation it's called rest pain even more aggressive the disease patient may have numbness in the limb and even blackening of the limb can develop it's called gangrene so what are the causes or the risk factor for that condition there are multiple risk factor some are the modifiable risk factor and some of are non modifiable modifiable risk factor include the diabetes hypertension cholesterol and smoking we can avoid or control this risk factor and prevent this disease to develop non modifiable risk factor include the age gender and genetics in the elderly patient this disease develop commonly in male compared to female this disease prevalence is more and some have genetics or hereditary link to develop this disease why early diagnosis is matter for this condition because by early diagnosing this condition we can achieve a cure for this condition and can manage easily this condition whether you have a claudication we can manage that claudication by treating with medical management or by just simply a angioplasty for that condition now we will discuss about the impact of pad in day to day life in pad the patient have a compromised blood flow to the limb so patient gets feel pain after walking for some distance as the disease progresses the situation become more worsen and worsen and at some point patient feel pain in the rest situation and not able to even a sleep so this is disease cause the multiple complication like a limb gangrene or the limb blackening now we will discuss about the management of this condition this condition is managed by either medical management or surgical or endovascular management medical management is recommended for that patient who had a stenosis or blockage of blood vessel is less than 50% the blood flow is compromised but not to the critical stage in surgical management open surgery option include the bypass surgery which form the large scar and opening of skin it have a long recovery time while in endovascular management we have a less than 2 mm hole and we can do the angioplasty and stenting for the removal of blockage of that vessel the patient have a shorter hospital stay or faster recovery and able to walk on the next day of this procedure now we will discuss about the what the patient should do after the treatment of peripheral arterial disease patient should manage that modifiable risk factor like we discussed earlier diabetes should be controlled and should consult your physician to make them under control hypertension should be controlled either by medication or salt restricted diet or by exercise smoking should be avoided cholesterol cholesterol should be controlled either with the diet restriction or with the statin drugs now we will discuss about the ir clinic team experience with this pad condition we have seen that if the patient gets diagnosed or treated in early stage patient can achieve 100% cure if the patient could not control this modifiable risk factor the disease may get reappear ir technique or endovascular technique have a new evolution which involves the removal of clot within the blood vessel by newer techniques or in simply we can retract that plaque which is causing the blockage of blood vessel without any opening of the skin so the patient have a faster recovery shorter hospital stay and healing gets faster